Welcome to my unboxing of the Intel 520 series SSD. I know it's another SSD unboxing and there's not much different because this is a Sandforce based drive and it's a 240 gig drive and these exist before, but wait, no, no, no. This is another more different Sandforce drive. So while the Intel 520 series drive has a Sandforce SATA 3 six gigabit per second controller in it, Okay, so let's just see if there's anything else it has to say for itself on the outside of the box. Before we, before we get into this, okay, so we got the data manufacturer, which was sort of not that long ago. We got a product code, we got a capacity. Comes in a variety of capacities, including 120 gig, 240 gig. Okay, we've got the box contents, which we'll see obviously, because this is an unboxing, that means we open the box. Super fast hard drive alternative, and they're right. Rugged, silent, and solid. They're right about that too. And it is SATA 6 gigabit per second. And is SATA 3 gigabit per second compatible? It comes with a five-year warranty. Intel actually includes a five-year warranty with their Sandforce drive. Which brings me to what is special about an Intel Sandforce SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive. And that is that, well, one, why did it take them so long to get to market? I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was, a, there was quite a bit of flack going around about Sandforce SATA 3 drives and not being reliable enough and etc 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 and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Well, my suspicion of a little secret anyway. I suspect that Intel was planning a Sandforce drive ages ago, but because they were the ones whose internal validation found that there were still problems with it, they never released one until now. So not only have they addressed the reliability issues that people were having with Sandforce drives, which by and large are resolved with the other manufacturers now as well. Okay, so let's, let's assume for a second that the reliability is equivalent, which I don't know is necessarily true, because at least at NCIX, Intel has the lowest return rate out of all SSD manufacturers, like definitely the lowest, although they're more expensive, so bear that in mind as well. Intel has also tuned the performance of their Sandforce SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive to the point where it is now faster than anyone else's in spite of the fact that it only uses synchronous Intel flash. It doesn't even use toggle flash. So without the advantage of the fastest possible flash out there, they're achieving better performance than anyone else. So they have done reliability tuning and performance tuning on this controller in order to achieve the best possible drive to deliver to their customers. So this is a replacement for the 510 series drive that performs better and I mean what else is there to really say about it beyond that. So here we go, let's have a look at the drive itself. You can see there's four screws on the top that allow you to remove this plastic piece right here, allowing you to install it in laptops that require a low profile two and a half inch drive or laptops that require a full height uh, two and a half inch drive. You got all your standard mounting holes on the bottom. You can see this equipment is provided by the Intel Demo Depot. Cool, okay, uh, you got, sorry, did I say you have your mounting holes here and your mounting holes here? I really don't know why they don't do something about like the finish on these drives, because they're all kind of like this. I wouldn't mind if they were sort of a little shiny. Kingston does a great job with the aesthetics of their drives. Um, I don't know, it just seems kind of, it's very rugged. So it depends what you're after, I guess. If you're looking for something sort of rugged and corporate, then that works. Uh, what do we have for included accessories? Intel is one of the best when it comes to uh, well, included accessories because they are very, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of their thing. It's like with an Intel product that you buy, you expect it to come with everything you need. You expect it to work 100% right out of the box. It's their corporate expectation of themselves and that customers have of them. So they include everything you need. Here we have the Intel data migration software. It can be downloaded from intel.com slash go slash SSD installation. That only works on Intel drives and it actually does work. I've used it in the past. It allows you to quickly and easily transition your system from a hard drive to an SSD. Comes with a SATA cable made by Foxconn. There you go. Foxconn makes everything. It's amazing. Uh, then we've got five. Haha, <laughs> look at this. I love it. I love it when companies do this. Five desktop screws five um, like notebook screws. So this allows you to install it uh, in whatever kind of configuration you require. So if you're using an adapter, then you'll use these screws to mount the adapter into your case, and you'll use these screws to mount it to the adapter. But why do they include five? They include five just in case there's a miscount. So no matter what happens, you'll always have enough screws because they include five. So even if you're one short, you'll still have four, which is what you actually need. You also get a Speed Demon sticker, you also get an Intel solid state drive important web links thing. You get a Molex to SATA adapt power adapter cable. And you get an included two and a half inch to three and a half inch drive sled, 
which gives you a lot of different flexibility, more flexible options in terms of where you want to mount the drive on it. Maybe you got like a hot swap cage or something like that you're going to put it in. You want to make sure everything lines up right. So there you go. So you'll use these screws to mount it to this and these screws to mount this to your case, which has all the same mounting points as a three and a half inch hard drive and is one of the more rugged and robust. I mean, here, I'll contrast this with what comes with uh, Intel's competitor's drives. I think I have one lying around over here. So I'm not going to name any names, but uh, this one's made of aluminum and like, look how much flex it has, which I'm not saying actually matters or anything, but you know, if you're going to be Intel and overbuild everything, you might as well overbuild everything. So there you have it. This is the Intel 520 series SSD. And the reason I have this is I'm actually going to be doing a 240 to 256 gig SSD roundup on my NCIX comm channel. So make sure you're subscribed to that one as well, because we're going to have a look at this one, a couple other Sandforce drives. We're going to have a look at an um, uh, Indolinx Everest drive. And finally, the Crucial M4 and see how they all stack up. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.